What's up guys, Trip Roy here and today we're checking out Monk or Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Now, I've played this game numerous times over the years, absolutely love it. And if you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat because this game is brilliant. It is a point and click adventure and it is just, it is a classic. And I've been holding off from playing it for a while and I figured why not record it. So this will be the third new Let's Play this week. It's quite a short game I think, about six, six and a half hours. So let's get stuck in. Pixel graphics. Why is it still pixely? It's supposed to be a special edition. Deep in the Caribbean, the island of Melee. There we go. Monkey Island, Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. See the change in quality? I think. No, wait, let me do it yet. You can actually swap back and forth between them as you're playing. Sort of like Halo did for the Halo anniversary in the Last Chief Collection, swapping back between the old and new graphics. I love the music in this game, the humour, the characters, just everything about it is brilliant. Yes, this is the Island of Melee. Little pirate town at the bottom there. I forgot how good a job they did remastering this. I mean, it looks brilliant. Reminds me a lot of the graphical style of the cave, the sort of side scrolling puzzle platforming game, which I've been tempted to do a let's play of myself, but I'll let you guys decide that one. If you can hear any rumbling, ignore it. That's my stomach. It's half past 12 and I've not eaten yet. <laughs> Here we go. There is our protagonist. Hi. My name's Guyber Streetwood and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't <laughs> sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. <laughs> Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a fl Oh, buddy, yeah, look at it. Bit of just... Pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll Probably a bad time to do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. <laughs> um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Which is quite amusing because there's a program called Scum, which plays old DOS games. Part one: The Three Trials. Here we are, Governor Marley. So once we stop moving, there we go. So basically what he said while I stupidly switched visuals at the wrong point was if I want to become a pirate, I've got to go and see the pirate leaders at the scum bar, which is down here. But as you can see, the game is absolutely stunning. Very nice art style. And then you switch back to the original Look how dated it is. I mean, you had to click... You could basically, like... You had to click one of those at the bottom, and then click wherever you wanted to... what it was you wanted to interact with. Whereas now... Let's have a look. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Makes sense. Go oh, look at this game. Wow. They did a lot of work there. I mean, that's just flat on, but here... You've got the whole extra ships. Got the moving water. It's amazing what the work they've done for this. And they did it for the sequel as well. The Chuck's Revenge. Which, if you guys enjoy this playthrough, I am more than happy to do as well. 
So feel free to let me know if you're enjoying this and you want to see the sequel. There are another three releases after that. Curse of Monkey Island, Escape from Monkey Island and Tales from Monkey Island. The latter of those being made by Telltale. The same people that made the Walking Dead games. Right. In we go. Wow. I like how they've kept everything as it should be. Everyone in their correct positions. Even the little dog with his bone. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town. Ah yes, the game of choice. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Ridiculous name. Really is. That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? See what they did there? Mancom, Guybrush. Uh. I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. That is true. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. <laughs> I like that it's got TM next to it. Uh, let's talk to this guy. They're busy listening to the guy on the left. I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Probably a good point. Can't talk to him. Can talk to him. What are you looking Whoa. For me for? <laughs> well, sorry to bother you. Um, I'd like to introduce yeah. myself. My name's Gavish. Simple. Yeah. So what? Let's just bite the bullet. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when. Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Ah. Sorry to bother you. Bye. I'm not going to go through every chat option because not all of them are necessary. I think they're busy. Hi. D Hi yourself. Cob. So tell me about Loom. Loom is another game like this, point and click adventure. But I think it was like their first game. I have it. Started it to record. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was stuck in the same area for half an hour, just walking around. So, depending on how you guys receive this one, I may do Loom as well, but with the help of a guide for the start, because it was confusing as shit. So, so, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant nice. and click control of characters, objects and magic spells. <laughs> Beat the rush! <laughs> Go out and buy Loom today! And I did, and I didn't regret it, but it's another one I have to come back to at some point. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. Nice talking to you. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Wow, he looks tough. Spiffy. Okay. And there they are. The pirate leaders. Ooh, there goes my stomach again. Um. What be ye want, boy? 
I might. That's better. I'm I want to be a, a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, Damn it. Don't that's still not right. There we go, that'll do. Don't forget we're short on help because of this whole LeChuck thing. So LeChuck. So no pirates means no swag. And no swag means no grog. And we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. That's impressive. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You nope. have to go through the three trials. <laughs> uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. What? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right. You must uh. prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return <laughs> with proof that you've done it. And That's basically the gist of the game. Grog with us. Let's have a look. Wow. Big change. Right, so tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You <laughs> must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. I remember doing that many times. Oh you want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of stupid. <laughs> right, so Tell me thievery. More about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. Oh the crap. Governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. Dogs. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious breed. They might be able to drug them or something. Distract them with food. And finally... Tell me more about treasure hunting. Not much to tell. Has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Yeah. Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. <laughs> Terrible. I'll just All be right. running along now. I'm not going to bother with the extra crap Come conversations. Tell us how you're doing. We'll just do what we need to do. Get on the move. Wait for the scroll to finish. And out the door. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island... The ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. <laughs> I love LeChuck. But he looks so different. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> Wait, that's a map. Uh, sir... I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yeah, yes, Why does he have a face glad but no body? <laughs> Never noticed that, Paul. You are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. 
And we're back with the chuck. No, not the chuck. Guy brush. Fuck's sake. So <clears throat> let's go this way. What the? Sorry about that. My game just decided to minimise. I think it's because I clicked off screen or something. Ah, yes, my mouse pointer is now on the second monitor. I still on this one locked where it should be. Where is he going to go? Oh, I want to speak to him. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? Um, which should we go for? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. What? <laughs> you want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? That would be a yes. In existence. But you had loads. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. No, I have none. Uh, no thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. Let's have a look over here. Nice little street. Hello, hello. Men of low moral fibre. Pirates. Wait, who opened the door? Oh, it's him again. Let's talk to these guys. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? <laughs> Ooh, especially in a light wine sauce. Ugh. Yes, I love rats. They I have no problem with rats. Very intelligent creatures. <laughs> they are. What the? More intelligent than him. <laughs> Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was no. actually a group of monkeys. Uh, that's this difficult one. to believe. Yes, but it's true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Then that's Only a little rubbish. time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Stan. I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality. Not like the bird caged liners you get from that clown across the street. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually <laughs> copies of the minutes of the last <laughs> meeting of the <laughs> Melee Island PTA. <laughs> Can't even give them away. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I wonder one, one. what he was doing. Um. No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Will it work? Okay, that's fair. It did. Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. <laughs> but this rat scared away the elephant. <laughs> Shut up! 
Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes uh. like these off the rack. What do you want? Uh, how come I have to go not on a ship? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating it's not an easy job. Monkey Island. Uh. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. Oh my god, they are serious. It was working out well until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Oops. Go home. And that's the conversation done. Can I go into here? Nope. Ah. Oh, the voodoo place. I remember this. This was brilliant. Look, the chickens, some baskets, another chicken. Hmm, a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Could come in what handy. What possible use could that have? Hmm, hmm, a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Damn it. I'm sure I'm supposed what to take that at some point. What use could that have? No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Ah, scroll. That's the one. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. There we go. So yeah, scrolling changes the interaction. I completely forgot about that. Well, hello. What may I help you with, son? And how does this look in old school? Wow. Just a black screen with a few drapes and a person and some jars. And then you switch back. Stunning. I love how much they've done to this. Um. Wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is, is Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. She's Am good. I not right? Wow, that was amazing. Any other tricks. Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the is truth. Is the truth. Uh... I sense the guilt of stealing my chicken grows. Take it. It's <laughs> yours. Yay, Why free you rubber chicken. It? Is it jinxed with an ancient voodoo curse? No. The pulley squeaks. <laughs> so? My mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are oh, interested yes. in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Um. Ooh. <clears throat> now I can't remember what the outcomes of each do. Do you want to? Would you want to know the future? I think the fact this is a surprise is nice. There may be a few little aspects which I might want to know about my future, but the rest of it, I'd want it just to be a surprise. I think the things I'd want to know would probably be like, am I going to die alone? Am I ever gonna like be a crazy cat man sort of thing? I don't really care about riches or anything like that. Um, screw it, Skybrush. Yes, tell me everything that's gonna happen to me. I am getting a vision. <laughs> I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See Death. What? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. It is? 
Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. D no. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. And we're back out. How's the saving on this done? Is it simple? It is. Awesome. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're up to 25 minutes now, so I'm going to save. Slot one. 7% complete already. Crikey. I forgot it was shortish. But I hope you enjoyed this. We're only at the start of the adventure. There's a lot of humour, adventures, travelling, and downright silliness to come. And I hope you're going to join me for it because it is absolutely brilliant. Now these The Monkey Island games were all made by LucasArts back when they were a game-making studio before they got shut down. At least I think they were shut down. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think. It's a little slow at the start, but it does take off. So it is worth sticking with. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.